Hi everyone and thank you for joining again. In this video I will show you how you can make this beautiful color change back here. We work with 2mm yarn, then we need this little chain here, D-rings, and if you like this little decorative thing here. As usual, I will link everything you need in the video description. Then let's quickly take the measures of the back. And we are ready to start. We work with a two and a half millimeter hook and as I said we use two millimeter yarn. As usual we start with our slip knot and then we make 40 chain stitches. Afterwards, we start in the second chain from the hook and go back with single crochet. In the end, this is how it should look like now, in the end we chain one, turn around and again make single crochet but this time and from now on for all the rows back loop only, like this. So single crochet, back loop only. This is how it should look like now. And now we go on need one additional single crochet. Now we are right at the tip and we make three single crochet in this loop here. So this is our turning chain from the foundation chain. Three single crochet here. Three 
and afterwards you go back with single crochet in the foundation chain. In this way you get this round side here. This is how it should look like. And then you just go on with single crochet. Now the row is finished and we make our first color change. So I started the single crochet here and I close it with the second color. like this. Turn around and then go on with single crochet in back loop only. This is how it should look like. And in this row we will start to form the shape of the flap. So let's have a look. We now need the second loop from the tip, then the tip loop and the second loop after the tip. So this one, this one and this one. And in these loops we will always make single crochet, one chain and another single crochet. So this is the second to the tip. One single crochet, one chain and another single crochet in the same loop. Then in the next one just one single crochet. Then we are at the tip and again make single crochet, chain, single crochet. Then make single crochet in the next and afterwards again single crochet, chain and single crochet. This is the only row where we make this. So from the next row on the pattern will change. Afterwards you just go on with single crochet and as I said always back loop only. So here you can see the triangle shape. Now again at the end of the row chain one Turn around and go back, single crochet, back loop only until you reach the tip again. So now 
you always check for the chain of the last row. For me is this one here. And you go on with your single crochet until your last single crochet is in the chain. So you go on with single crochet until the chain. Like this. Then I recommend to always double check if you're on the line. It might become a little off uh, every few rows. Then you just make one or one single crochet more or less and then make one chain and go on with single crochet in the next stitch. Then again single crochet until you reach the chain of the tip. This one here. Chain one. And go on with single crochet. And when we work on the sides until the single uh, until the chain, that means on this other side we have to stop one stitch before the chain. Here, then we add our chain. So that our next single crochet is in the chain of the previous row. Then you go on with single crochet in the next stitch. So and as I said always double check if you are on the line. And if it's off, just add one single crochet more or, that, or just uh, make one single crochet less before you make the chain. So now we are at the end of the row again. You just drop the green thread, take the beige one. And close your last single crochet with it. Like this. Then you turn around And go on with single crochet, back loop only. So again, you work until the chain, then chain one, go on in the next single crochet and on the other side stop before the chain, chain one and go on in the next. And as I said always double check if you're on the right uh, line of the pattern.
and if not, just add one more single crochet or make one less. And after two rows, you always change colors. This is how the top looks like after 24 rows. So 12 rows of each color. And the last one, I just cut the thread here, pull it through, and then weave the ends in. Pull the green one through and then weave the ends in. This is the bottom of the bag. I started with 16 chain stitches, which leads to 15 single crochet per row. And then I made 39 rows in total. And it should be in this size when you um, place it on the edge of the one side. On the other side, there should be round about the height of one single crochet row. Here, as you can see, I'm not right on the edge, but there's approximately the height of one single crochet row left because we will now make single crochet along this long side and the other small side. So we poke in below these loops here. I didn't make another chain stitch or anything, but just go on below this loop here and make a single crochet, then poke below this loop here, these loops here, make a single crochet, and then again we have this top loop here. They are a little difficult to get under as you can see, but it is possible. And in this way you just go on for this side and the next or the other small side. When you finish that, this is how your bottom should look like. And now it should be in the same size like um, the top piece. Now we chain one and only in this row now we will make single crochet front loop only. Because in this way, the sides will bend up. This is why we work front loop only here. In the following rows, you make normal single crochet in both loops. In this row, single crochet, front loop only, like this. Now when you reach this edge here, 
you just go on with single crochet front loop only. You don't make double single crochet or anything. I didn't do that in the last row neither. But just go on with single crochet front loop only. Like this. And you can already see that it starts to bend up and that you get a nice edge in the corner there. So you go on like this until you reach the end of the row. There you chain one and then go back all the way. This is how it looks from the other side. And as I said, only in this first row of the sides, we work front loop only. In the following rows, you work normal single crochets. So let's have a look. This is my finished front row only ro uh, row, <laughs> sorry. And if you like, you can um, make the bottom stiffer by using some plastic canvas and sew it on here. And as I said, I chained one and now go on with single crochet. So, in total, I made 20 rows. And now you can see why we work with the small hook, because it stays in shape pretty well already. As I said, you can um, add some plastic canvas if you like. That will make the back stiffer, but I think it's already quite, quite well and stays in shape pretty well. Now, this is how the top will be fixed in this position, like this. You can of course vary the height of the bag. Just go on with single crochet rows. also looks good when the top um, ends a little higher, like this for example. Also nice back. But I decided to make it in this size, so that it its tip um, ends nearly at the bottom. So this is the position how we will fix it. Now, there are two different options. You can either cut a long piece of the thread, pull it through, long piece of the thread, cut it, pull it through, and then sew the sides together like this. Or you can use slip stitches to fix the parts. If you like to use slip stitches, chain one, then place the top part in this position. And this is mostly 
um, like try and error. So I, I regularly have to open the part up again um, because I started in the wrong loop here. But let me show you. So you poke in, in the top part, then poke in, in this loop of the side, pull the thread through like this, through all the loops on your hook and close the slip stitch. Then again, poke in the next loop This one here, this one here, poke in, in the next loop of the side part, And slip stitch and another one poke in like this poke in in the loop of the side part And slip stitch. So after you made a few stitches, this is the edge that you will get. After a few stitches, double check if you started in the right height and I can see here I have to start a little lower, so I will open that again and start, I would say, well, two stitches lower. As I said, it's always try and error, but it will definitely work, like you can see here. Um, I thought I'd show you the lower part here as well, because you have these loops here from our color changes. So in this area, you just ignore the, uh, the long loops from the color changes, go around them and poke in the loops that lay below them. And then make your slip stitch like this. In the end, this is how your bag looks like. I cut a long, long piece of the thread again because I usually go on here and um, sew the plastic canvas on with this part. And I already made the first um, thing here where we will uh, fix the D-rings. These are seven rows of single crochet and three single crochet per row. So I um, added the thread on the side again and just made three single crochet, seven rows, and then cut a long thread again and sew the D-ring on like this. And of course you repeat that on the other side as well. This is how it should look like then. For the knob, the lower part, you just poke it in and bend around these metal things on the inside. And for the top part, I made this little piece here of single crochet and sew it on.
In the end, I added my logo and this little chain here. And now the back is finished. Well, you can of course use, for example, this one here, which also looks very nice. For the handle, there's a different um, tutorial that I will link in the video description as well. So, and this is my leftover of one skein of the first color. For the second color, I used some leftovers, but I would say you need round about a quarter skein.